So let's uh, talk about uh, how interview goes and uh, what is expected from you or what you, how can you, you know, uh, perform better in your portraying your knowledge or, you know, and displaying your, uh, you know, the best of you uh, while interview is held. Interview uh, is a tricky thing uh, uh, because uh, you have very, because of the time availability of time, maybe 20 minutes, 25, 30, uh, if it goes well, sometime it gets extended beyond 25 or 30 minutes or maybe more. But uh, again, uh, I think it's, uh, it's, it's uh, you know, you are not sure uh, what is uh, going to be asked and uh, how would you will react to those questions because of your own uh, background, uh, because of your own knowledge, because of your own exposure, and uh, and what kind of, uh, you know, answers are, you know, there in the minds. I would say what are the answers and precisely what are the uh, things attached to those kind of uh, questions. Uh, which are attached with the questions, uh, uh, you know, there are a lot of things which are attached with the questions, which are only, you know, I would say, curdling in the minds of the members or the interview board. Because, you no, know, because they have also their own peculiar academic background, professional background, their own intellectual uh, biases or preferences or likings or dislikings or uh, maybe some reservations or maybe uh, their own uh, because because it's a very difficult thing to predict uh, about the mind of a person who is asking the questions and so it's 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 uh, it's a, it's a, i would say tricky and suspenseful thing look just like a suspense movie uh, that's how the interview goes but uh, some of the dynamics which are there uh, always, you know, uh, you know, they, 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 they are there, which, which one can comprehend, which one can, you know, you know, perceive in advance and prepare yourself or, uh, you know, come to that kind of mood or, uh, you know, stint what you have a very but whatever is available within a very short span of time. The first thing is the, is the, is the you know, strengthening or, uh, you know, the polishing or uh, renewing or the refining or, you know, your own knowledge about the compulsory subjects or the optional subjects and also the current issues uh, which are there in the newspaper or the magazines or which, uh, you know, uh, which is related to our country or our society and those kind of things. And some, sometimes uh, some typical questions are also come to the minds of the members, uh, like maybe about poetry or maybe some books or uh, maybe some, um, uh, you, know, you know, like maybe a background pertaining to literature or the folk or the area to which you belong. Uh, those kind of questions also sometimes come come to the minds of the members. So one should always know, in, for instance, if I am, I am from Bahawalpur, I should know a little bit uh, about the history of Bahawalpur and uh, the potentials of Bahawalpur or the, uh, uh, if we have to, uh, you know, ask the, we can, one should be prepared to briefly uh, account for the, uh, you know, the city of Bahawalpur, how is it? Uh, little uh, about history, little about geography and uh, uh, its socio-economic potentials or any, any kind of, you know, fame or some kind of, uh, you, know, uh, uh, you know, repute which is attached to that kind of place. These kind of also questions uh, come in mind and one should be prepared for that. Because, if, uh, I mean, usually uh, people know about their areas, but some, sometimes uh, maybe female candidates, I have seen that they are not, you know, usually the boys are more, you know, because of their exposure, they know more about uh, the places or they have more outing, you know, uh, outing life they have spent. They would know more about those things, where, whereas the female students, 
they don't know much about the geography or the history or the potentials that uh, city has got, uh, whatever it is. But at the same time, the female students I have seen, they, are, they have more stronger bookish knowledge and they are more, you know, prompt and uh, more accurate or maybe more expressive about the uh, subjects they have studied or the, about the knowledge they, they portray better. Now, to, to go for interview, I think the first thing first, after having said this, the, you know, the, the background which I have, or the preamble or the, or the synopsis I have laid before you, but at the same time, I think uh, once, uh, if you want to take an interview, one should, one should prepare, you know, prepare himself for the interview. First thing is, I think one should be well dressed. Um, it may not be very gaudy or may not be very, you know, uh, some kind of imported suit I am mentioning, but one should be properly, gracefully dressed. At the same time, uh, I think uh, coming to the close dynamics, uh, once you enter in the, in the, uh, in the uh, interview room, one should uh, walk uh, not in a hurry or not very slow and uh, uh, sit, you know, with a, with a, with a, with a confidence and with a comfort. Maybe, maybe it looks courteous, like if I, I have come to your home, I can ask, may I come in, or uh, so that the host can lead me to the drawing room or the lounge or whatever the type of a guest is visiting someone. So it looks good if you ask them, may I be seated or uh, can I sit down? Because some of them ask, some of them, you know, omitted that. So it's better to ask. And so I think uh, while you are you are you, you are sitting, you should you should listen to the questions very carefully, and that you, that you can only do if you have I think uh, if you have travelled a day before to your destination, if you have slept well, and uh, you are not uh, you know uh, you know some I would say uh, somebody has not bothered you. <laughs> while you are traveling or wherever you are staying because that puts off your mood and these kind of reflexes do affect the human minds or the efficiency of the mind. Usually the question is asked by the chairman or whosoever is heading the, uh, this uh, interview panel. It is always asked that uh, introduce yourself briefly. That, that, that is always there. So that is, the, that, uh, that is the, uh, the first thing from there the interview panel, uh, you know, picks up the first impression, maybe the second impression, first thing, you know, I have already described. So that is, that is very important that you should prepare uh, uh, your brief uh, introduction beforehand, instead of, you know, just off the cuff saying that I'm, I hail from this place or I have come, I belong to this district or Usually the people say basically and originally. I don't know. I mean, both the words uh, bother me a lot. I mean, originally or basically because they have, they have their own meanings. You can just say that I belong to, you know, uh, Faisalabad, belong to Shikarpur, belong to Jaikabad, belong to Peshawar, belong to Bhavanagar or whatever, whatever your home district is. And from, and, and the district, uh, uh, you know, you should refer to the where you are born because that is, uh, that is the district. That is the place uh, to which you belong to. I think it is a very appropriate, but instead of basically or originally, because origin takes you to something different, basics take you something different. You can well, uh, I mean, uh, you know, differentiate between these two words by put seeing the dictionary or maybe in the Google right now. So I think one can say that I, I belong to that place, and this is uh, I am. Uh, Maybe you describe your name and belong to that place. And then uh, briefly introduce, uh, you have started where, you have done what. And uh, briefly you can also add spice to that, to your uh, 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 introduction, brief introduction. Maybe your intellectual uh, strength, uh, your passion or your anything, uh, you know, which which you have been doing beyond the beyond the academics, yeah, beyond the 
you know, routine functions. Maybe sports, maybe reading, maybe social work or um, maybe writing, maybe watching movies, maybe watching sports, whatever. I think uh, that spice should come out instead of sitting monotonous and dull and drab. I think one should be lively and expressive and communicative. That, 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 that you can add a little, you know, uh, make it more interesting and colorful, which will engage the panel, uh, you know, to question you more about you. Usually, after, uh, uh, you know, your brief introduction, uh, questions uh, could be asked about your, uh, you know, uh, maybe straight away, uh, some people, because it's a, I, I said it's a very, very, you know, open thing. I mean, it depends upon the panel, the type of uh, members uh, they are, keeping in view their own background, their own, you know, preferences, likings, and uh, their own exposure, and their own expectations, and what is in their mind. So it, it, it cannot be, you know, uh, predicted that uh, this will be, uh, this will happen. An interview is an interview, just as we talk to anyone uh, while, uh, you know, uh, meeting anybody anyone who's stranger or who's new. So, but we, but definitely these are the things which should I mean, remain in your mind. Uh, they can be asked about, some people ask about your maybe compulsory question, uh, compulsory subjects or the optional subjects. And maybe some straight away, I mean, uh, the questions could be asked about the, about the, maybe the type of country we are constitutionally, uh, we are what kind of a country we are, are we a, uh, because, the, because it, it is not described properly. The first answer is that we are a federation and we have a federating units. Our provinces are our federating units because we are a federal state, we have a federation and we have four provinces which are, which are federating, which are constituents of the federation. Do you see what I'm saying? I mean, uh, if you will speak these words, the members will be shaken that the, the boy or the candidate or the girl, whatever, is, is responding very well. I mean, hitting the target, right? You know, hitting the bullet in the, between the eyes, I would say. So you would say that we are a federation, we are a federal state, and we have, you, we have federating units. Our provinces are federating units. What is the, what is the top executive of our country? Or what is the what is the federal government? How would you describe that? Prime Minister is the top executive. Hmm. Prime Minister and the cabinet. Yes. The and prime minister and the cabinet and how the how the executive how the executive authority is exercised in our in our country. How the top executive authority is exercised in our country. Prime what would you? Prime Ministers, President. Cabinet, President. and what else? President. 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 Yes. That's good. Uh, that's what I wanted to listen because most of the most of the people, you know, they would skip the President because President, every bills or the laws goes to the President. Although he is a figurative head, he is the constitutional head. Uh, bo both the terms are uh, okay for the President of Pakistan, but the uh, the top, uh, you know, executive uh, executive authority is performed by the uh, by the Prime Minister, you can also say pri Prime Minister and the Cabinet and the President of Pakistan. That is how are the, you know, federal uh, uh, government works and also not the federal government but the executive authorities is exercised in this manner. So these are the, you know, I would say things which you should uh, think more about these things. So to make, make your answers precise and uh, close to what? Uh, the, the the panel would like to listen. Um, the questions can also be because uh, economy, ec economics or the economy of Pakistan is also an, a very uh, big field uh, where whereby the questions uh, can be asked about the about the economy. First of all, you should also knowing all these details about the GDP or uh, GNP or the NNP. I I think most of you should be aware of all these terms. 
جی ڈی پی اینڈ جی این پی یا دی این این پی یا اینڈ وٹ از انکلوڈیڈ اینڈ وٹ از ناٹ انکلوڈیڈ سو یہ یو شوڈ لک ویری ڈیپ ان ٹو آل دیز تھنگس آل دو اٹس ویری ایزی وی ڈو ناٹ لک ڈیپ ان ٹو اٹ ایون گوگل پرووائڈ یو دس ہول رینج آف انفارمیشن ویئر بائی یو کین اینڈ دی برننگ کوشچنس لائک مے بی دس سرکولر ڈیٹ then uh, what is it uh, most of the papers you know are, are talking about these things current account deficit circular debt and uh, you know uh, one sh- most of the people do not differentiate between the monetary and the fiscal uh, things monetary is distinguishable from the fiscal things uh, these kind of the questions and um, what is administration and what is management uh, one should differentiate between the two Uh, then going, uh, what are the principles of management? Usually uh, they are also asked. But I'm, I'm giving you, a, uh, you know, uh, basically uh, this session is not about, or I'm not here to tell you about the, 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 the sort of questions, but I am, I am, I am trying to, uh, you, know, uh, t- uh, you know, to make you understand that uh, whatever questions are asked, uh, uh, you should be, you should be you know precisely underscoring the 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 correct things which which you should be uh, telling the panel because that will make a difference although most of you have responded well and answered uh, the question but i have given you examples that whereby you can improve your uh, responses and uh, replies okay all right then uh, uh, we have lot of you know environmental bilateral and uh, developmental social issues which is maybe maybe we are asked about uh, uh, in the past one or two years there was uh, there was a slogan going on mera jism meri marzi or uh, sectarianism or sectoral you know polarization our country sectarianism or uh, you know uh, maybe corruption maybe uh, 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 you know these kind of you know very social issues pertaining to those things i mean those uh, and, uh, those, those kind of questions but one should you know try to give his uh, you know peace of mind or he should exp- he or she should express whatever whatever is comes in his mind and uh, like uh, you know we all societies have these kind of uh, vices or uh, you know uh, maladies but it, it is also peculiar in our country and uh, currently we are like going through a very very political critical stage uh, it is a very confusing state of affairs which we are experiencing so these these kind of things i just wanted to share with you which you should keep it in your mind um you are all you can also ask me uh, any anything or any question which comes to your mind what is the criteria for the distribution of marks uh I, it is uh, total number are 300 marks and uh, first of all the members have a uh, uh, you know your complete data before them your compulsory subjects your option subjects then also your psychological report that is all, all always there but what what the uh, major uh, determinants i would say are the weighing factors are always there about your personality about your uh, the, 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 you know your assessment is already there uh, although uh, each member is uh, you know one one amongst equal everybody has a uh, 300 marks like there are four or five members everybody have 300 marks but usually after the interview is over there is a maybe 5 minutes break whereby the each candidates performance in the interview is uh, you know noted down by the each member under very the three four categories whereby uh, a brief discussion takes place and they they agree uh, chair, it is the job of the chairman to you know share with the members uh, about the assessment and with some give and take or Uh, you know 
uh, you know weighing they they get they get agree to uh, you know fixed number maybe it is 150 or maybe 140 maybe 180 maybe 200 maybe 200 plus so that's how the assessment takes place sir e2 is checked during the interview or it is uh, checked during the psychological i think primarily this the psychological people the psychologists they uh, you know involve you in various kinds of puzzles and exercises and you know those kind of things which are always take place maybe in during army if you have been through those army tests or, or pms or the css uh, you might have experienced that they are assessed through those uh, exercises whereby your true thinking mind intellect is reflected and during the conduct how you conduct yourself uh, you know that uh, uh, you know determines the uh, your emotional uh, while you are in a group activity or while you are conducting the exercises or responding to those then the, your emotional quotient is also determined. Uh, does psychological assessment carries marks and uh, if not mm -hmm. then uh, uh, how it influences our whole score of interview? Psychological, uh, psychological uh, report, uh, the reports are there about your uh, personality, about your thinking, about your potential, about your qualities, about your attitudes. Those things are already there. It's a descriptive report. But, but I think, uh, you know, uh, the, the quantitative assessment is not made by the psychological wing. Or the psychological report does not contain uh, the, these details. They, they are assessed by the, by the board. So, so psychological assessment is always it's a written report about all these things which I have mentioned, whereby it comes to the uh, it comes before the members. But the in numbers, the quantitative numbers are, you know, determined or given by the by the panel. Sir, but, and hmm. they asked me uh, there was a man who ruled in Punjab. He was a Sikh. So he asked me about the tenure of Ranjit Singh, his whole policy hmm. assessment. Indirectly. Yes. And he said, uh, hmm. why the Republic was chosen? What is Bemar? Why Bemar was chosen? Who? who? Bemar Republic Be in Germany. In Germany, I took So they kept asking. Hmm. Like you were asked, uh, or maybe uh, you you were asked about this, or somebody else? Hmm. Like there was there was a, there was a, like like I I I know you know uh, tell you uh, you know about this. If this question is asked, that who there was a Sikh ruler in Punjab who was very famous, or who contributed or uh, he was very well known and uh, icon in history. I mean, you can say that it, it answer could be Ranjit Singh. Okay, all right. But at the same time, while answering Ranjit Singh, you can, you know, say a few words about him. That he, he was uh, a very, very, I would say, a ruler which will be wrong remembered in the province of Punjab. There was no ruler parallel to Ranjit Singh in the past 2000 years, maybe, maybe 3000 years, who really ruled Punjab in a perfect manner from the, as a warrior, as a conqueror, as a, as a you know, uh, uh, administrator, and also he gave systems as well. All right? Okay. Thank you. Thank you.